Welcome to Volcano. In this short video, I'll introduce our displays and show you a couple of experiments you can try at home. Take a boat trip to the erupting volcanic island of Krakatoa in Indonesia. Hear the eyewitness stories of people who lived through a volcanic eruption on the Caribbean island of St Vincent. Be inspired by Oxford artist Manny. He tells us about volcanoes, plate tectonics, and his ideas for a fire god mask inspired by the legend of Pele from Hawaii. Enjoy a magic card trick with Mike Cassidy, a volcanologist, and volcano top trumps. And find out what it is about pressure that makes volcanoes pop, as Anna Brookfield explains how she simulates volcanoes in a lab. Now, here are a couple of experiments to try at home. This first one is called the lava lamp. You'll need some water, some cooking oil, some food colouring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet that dissolves in the water to release bubbles of carbon dioxide. Pour some water with the food colouring into a tall jar or glass and make sure the food colouring dissolves. Then pour a layer of vegetable oil, cooking oil, on top. The cooking oil doesn't mix with the water and it's less dense, so it floats. We now have two layers, a red layer of the water and a yellow layer of the oil. Now take an alpha Zelta tablet, drop it into the container. The tablet starts to dissolve in the lower layer in the water, releasing bubbles of carbon dioxide. First of all, those bubbles just rise to the surface, but later, as the bubbling gets more vigorous, the bubbles carry up with them droplets of the red layer, the water. The whole system is churning around because of the bubbles in the underlying layer. This is just like what happens inside a magma chamber, except we have molten rock rather than water and oil. Here's another experiment you can try at home, a mini explosion. This one is quite messy, uh, so it's best done outside. You need quite a large beaker, partly filled with water, and something like table tennis balls, so you can see what happens afterwards. You also need a small plastic pot with a rigid lid like an old film container and some weights, coins or something, to help that container sink. And again, we'll use an Alka-Seltzer tablet. So here we are, we have a large glass jar. Put the coins into the film container. And then pour some water and add the ping pong balls to the large glass jar. Fill the film container about half full with water. Next, take about half an Alka-Seltzer tablet, drop it into the water in the film container and close the lid tightly. Then drop the film container to the bottom of the larger jar. The Alka-Seltzer tablet dissolves, bubbles of gas come out, pressure builds up inside and it explodes. I hope you've enjoyed these experiments and please enjoy the site.